And one of the things I've admired about you and how you've differentiated yourself as a realtor is the videos that you do. So I want to talk a little bit about that because sure. obviously that's kind of a long play. It's not one of those things where you put a video out and poof, everyone's found your video <laughs> and like, you know, your YouTube sensation, unless you happen to do some viral thing, you know. That, yeah, that hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that someone picks up. Usually those are stupid videos most of the time, it seems. But um, but you've kind of done the long play. So I've heard you talk about, you know, how you've now gotten customers that are out of state customers that have found you through your YouTube videos. I've heard that you're also getting some kind of paycheck from Google. Um, so how, when did you start that and how many have you done approximately so far? Okay. So after a couple of years of being in the real estate, uh, you know, I was doing what a lot of agents do, which is cold call, like making phone calls <laughs> and, you know, sending out postcards and you know, it gets expensive. And you, if you don't get results, again, some of the things you have to consistently do, um, and again, those are some early years I didn't realize, but I was like, yeah, I sent the postcards out like two or three times and I didn't get a seller. So I gave up, but it was expensive. And, right. and then the calling, making phone calls, no, you know, I did that for 30 years and I just didn't want to call people, especially calling the homes. There was one thing calling a business and getting hung up on, but boy, when you call someone at their house, they're really just not happy to hear from you. Right. So <laughs> they, you know, they, they get it's mad. Time. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what are you calling? You're the fifth realtor calling me. So I decided that, uh, I wanted to do something different. I knew social media was a big thing. I, I was I was a fan of social media from day one when I was in real estate. I knew it was a way to meet people mm -hmm. through Facebook and stuff. I just didn't know how. Um, I even remember going to one of these, you know, big seminars where they talk about, you know, hire us and we'll increase your sales. And the guy on stage saying, oh, no one's ever going to buy a house off of Facebook. And I'm like, oh. Okay, Mister. Great. And, and Good of course, attitude, buddy. yeah. And of course, now you go and look, and it's like I could show you the agents who have literally done millions of dollars off of Facebook oh, sales yeah. and stuff. So I knew there was a, a way to do it, but I wanted to try to figure it out. So I, I thought video would be kind of cool. And what I my my idea was that I just said, you know, why don't I make videos about what it's like to live in Palm Beach County because we live in this beautiful area. Right. I love living here with the palm trees and the beach and everything about the fishing and there's a lifestyle. So I just said, okay, let's start going to some of the parks that we took my, my kids to when they were little. You know, my wife mm -hmm. took the kids to every park she could find a new weekend. Every weekend was another park. So I said, well, yeah, that'd be neat. If I was a parent and I was moving from say the cold of New York and coming to, down here, I'd like to know where I could take my kids or, mm -hmm. or myself if I don't have whatever. So I started making videos and um, they were horrible. They were just <laughs> horrible, but I made them. And then I made another and then I learned and then I corrected and then I upgraded my gear. And you're right when you say long hauls, it took about a year and I wasn't consistent. I'd make a video, a month later, make a video, maybe make two videos. Then I met other people through social media and groups of people that were making videos. And then I learned be consistent. Like Paul, you got to yeah. do it every week. So I started making them every week ah. and getting consistent every week, same time, put it out there every week, almost the same time, but at least every week. And then all of a sudden I started getting like little messages and and then I actually got my first lead and I was like, wow. wow. Like they say, hey, we watched your video. We like what you're doing. We want to move to Florida. <laughs> That's great. Um, that was 2017. And there okay. wasn't a lot of realtors doing videos back then. There no. were some that were highly successful at it, but there were others that never even thought about it. Right. And so I started and of course now it's gotten more and more popular. You know, every realtor, they tell every realtor, if you're not making videos, you're not going to be seen. But so it was kind of neat doing it back then. And, um, and it just grew. And then I stuck with it, stuck with it, and I came up with the whole branding of my name, and I wanted to be something that would be memorable. So I came up with this Palm Beach is Paul, yeah. right? Just something that was catchy. And I, I did a tagline because I wanted them to remember me. So I said, you know, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise, <laughs> which I'm still waiting for the county of Palm Beach County to pat me on the back for that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, come on, guys, and you're I'm doing better than the tourism board is. And um, but so um, and I kind of stuck with it, and now. Um, Last year, 90% of my deals, all my business came from YouTube. Wow. I didn't make 90%. it. I haven't paid a single lead in three or four years. I haven't bought a lead wow. from any lead generation tool. Um, I have business last year was the best year I ever did during a, during a pandemic. And last year I did more business than I ever did in nine years of real estate. And it was all wow. because of YouTube. Um, and uh, I'm this year, I'm it's building. And even though we're in kind of a crazy market and it's really difficult with low inventory, um, it's still funneling business to me. Every month, I, I have people coming in this weekend from New York. They want to look at condos. I have cash buyers. And, and my price points went from, which is a really 
really exciting part of this was that where I was helping people in the 250 to 350 price range. Mm -hmm. And again, we're, we're talking about when those homes were available, right? They're not available. <laughs> not, but, now, you know, but not now, but back a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, when, when I started. But but at my price points went from an agent helping people in the 250 and 350 to working with million dollar clients and cash clients like like nice. from Canada saying, hey, we found you, we love you. Um, we, we watch all your videos. We think you're the guy for us. We're gonna come down there and we're looking to buy a house. We wanna live in Florida. I, you know, I, the mortgage goes, no, no, we'll pay cash. <laughs> I'm oh, like, even easier. <laughs> even easier. So, um, so it was uh, amazing. And so it has opened so many doors for me, such as even talking to you, you know, reaching out and talking on podcasts and stuff. It's amazing. But after I built the channel, which it did take a long time, I wasn't an overnight success. It doesn't happen in two weeks or two months. Mm -hmm. It took a while. But once I got until I was over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, they have a, a you know set goals of a thousand and four thousand hours watch time. You can get monetized, and yeah. so now I've been monetized. It's not a ton of money, but it was enough to take the family on a vacation, and it, we call it wow. YouTube money, like vacation money. It's like she goes, we're like, thank you YouTube, thank you, thank you subscribers. So because we're going down to the Do Florida Keys, video, like thanks yeah, YouTube, it, thank you. We're going to the Florida Keys on on YouTube money, and um, as I grow. Um, at this point right now, I'm literally sitting at just five shy of 4,000. My big nice. goal has been to hit 5,000 subscribers. And I actually see myself doing it this year in 2022. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, the goal will be 10,000. And I've, I've been told that once you hit 5,000, it, it sort of almost doubles. And it, it, the way it works is that you just sort of, sort of just really start to, more. yeah, it just starts, algorithm, it, algorithm kicks in just kicks in. Yeah. And it just starts going, you know, whether it happens or not, it, you could be 500 subscribers as long as I'm getting business from it. Right. And that is the, the benefit of, of the channel was that I'm supporting my family doing something I absolutely love doing, making videos, <laughs> showing off a county in an area that I love living in and getting business from it. And people are like, hey, they just, and they love you. They call you up and they go, we watched like six of your videos. You really know Delray Beach, you're our guy. So yep. it's, it's pretty cool.